From the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. From the black core of dark Africa, land of enchantment, mystery, and violence, comes one of the most colorful figures of all time. Transcribed from the immortal pen of Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan, the bronzed white son of the jungle. And now in the very words of Mr. Burroughs, the story of Jungle Legacy. On August 6, 1945, the most destructive bomb ever created was dropped on the hapless city of Hiroshima, and the atomic era was born. In the years following its dramatic birth, men combed the earth searching for uranium, the energy-producing element of the A-bomb. Those who located the richest deposits of this new gold would perhaps control the world. And no one was more aware of this fact than the sallow-faced bearded man who sat in a subterranean office in Addis Ababa, ten degrees north of the equator in Africa. Come in. Good afternoon, comrade Carzo. Quiet, you fool. Do you not know that the use of names is prohibited? But down here, hundreds of feet below the street, surely... It is a matter of discipline. No one can hear us down here, but if you get in the habit of addressing me as Karazov, and I get in the habit of addressing you as Zavet, we may slip when we are not in a safe place. I am sorry, Mr. K. We will let the matter pass without an official reprimand this time, Mr. Z. Thank you. And now you have an assignment for me. Yes. We must find a plentiful supply of uranium at once. But where can we go in Africa? The Belgium Congo is the richest uranium field in the world. But we cannot go there. There are sections of the African continent that have little or no international police. You will find uranium in some quarter where we can work undisturbed. You will be supplied to everything you need. Make a list. I can tell you right now. I shall need photographic plate equipment, ultraviolet lumps manufactured for the purpose... Geiger counters with the most powerful Geiger Mueller tubes available, and everything that makes up a large safari. The latter will not be necessary. We have an excellent plane at your disposal. You will travel by air. We have done some preliminary work. You will head first for the mountain country of the Marba people. But that's where Tarzan is. I have tangled with him twice already, several years ago, and I am not going to get mixed up with him again. I am not going there. You are an engineer. You know the jungle, and you have been selected for the job. You are not being asked to go, Mr. C. You are being ordered. Mapeka! Always at your service, Buona. You will accompany Mr. B and the pilot. Mapeka is the native of Maba. If you are forced to land, you will act as an intermediary for Mr. C. We will have no trouble. No trouble, Buona. Look, you can sometimes detect the presence of radioactive ores from the air but you have to go into the jungle on foot with a crew if you find it. And that means Tarzan and plenty of trouble. Your job is to find the uranium, Mr. C. I shall be responsible after that. When we take our crew into the jungle, we will be accompanied by a troop of secret police. This Tarzan you speak of will not be the first man our police have liquidated. <laughs> It was Tarzan's way to divide his time between the jungle stronghold of the ape tribe who had raised him, his seacoast cabin, and the villages of the many native tribes who were his friends. As lord of the jungle, he settled many disputes, gave advice, served his ebon-skinned brothers in many ways. Now, as Zavet's plane headed for the mountain country, Tarzan faced a troubled youth in the crawl of the Marwa people. <laughs> Never before have I seen such a sad face, Anduta. Surely your worries cannot measure up to your expression. Anduta have heavy trouble. Want to take Kara as Maki. You want to take Kara as your wife? Well, there should be no great problem there. Have you gone to her maternal uncle to make the arrangements? That is great trouble. Anduta go to Majomba of Kara. Tell him Anduta love Kara. Kara love Anduta. Want marriage. Majomba make marriage price. 
Sit in the gombe. Six head of cattle? Mm. Well, that's ridiculous. The established marriage fee for Marwa women is but two head of cattle. I don't know what's behind this, Anduta, but I shall go to the maternal uncle of Kara and speak with him. Santa Tarzan, go quickly, for Anduta has heavy heart. I shall see him at once. And then I shall return here and tell you what... What wrong? I heard something strange. Oh, quick, hide! This great devil bird! It is an airplane of the white men. A Tamangani comes again to our jungle. I fear that our worries shall not long be confined to those of the heart. In just a moment, we shall return to our story of Tarzan. In the plain that circled over the Marwa district, Zabet listened to the Geiger counter with disgust. Although they had flown back and forth over endless miles of wild terrain, the instrument had failed to indicate the presence of any radioactive material. To return to Addis Ababa with a report of failure meant disgrace, or perhaps worse. And yet to keep searching was dangerous. The gas supply was growing exceedingly short. So was Anton Zavet's temper. The drone of that infernal motor is driving me crazy. Maybe we land. Below is village Mawa people. There is no safe place to land near here. And anyway, we've got to find uranium. How we know when we find if we come close to a spot where it exists, this instrument should begin to click. The richer the deposit, the more clicks. Pilot! Yes, Mr. Z? Turn north, to the rocky ridge beyond the native village. Well, there's not much gas. I said go north. Right. All this land of Mawa, from here to Buana Mlima, big mountain. Quiet. Is Geiger County... Yes, we found it. Mark this spot on the map, Mateka. Those big black rocks. Medio, listen to those clicks. Unless I miss my guess, we found the richest load in the whole Congo. Pilot, turn back. Head for Addis Ababa. Well, Anduda, perhaps my fears of the Tamangani were groundless. White men, turn back. I guess there's little here to interest them. This is pretty barren country. Come, lead me to the Hema of Kara's maternal uncle. Hema of Kara's Majumba, right ahead. Uh, is Hema with round roof? I will meet you at the edge of the river when Goro the moon has risen. And don't worry, Anduta. I'm sure I can persuade Kara's uncle to accept two head of cattle for her hand. Who approaches Hema of Chief? It is Tarzan. Jumbo, Tarzan. Jumbo, great chief. I come to make talk. Speak, Lord of Jungle. You are uncle of the girl, Kara? Kara, daughter, my sister. Kara's father, chief before me. And Kara is of marriageable age? Not deep. Then why do you not encourage her marriage to Anduta? He's a fine young man who works hard and is pleasant to look upon. It is true. I not tell him no. I tell him price of marriage. You know he cannot pay six head of cattle. Why do you set the price so high? Two head of cattle has long been sufficient to pay as a marriage bonus for a woman of Mawa. Kara, daughter of old chief who is dead. I know, she but... She important Mawa Namki. Chief have no sons. Kara now owns property. Property? In Maji Maji war, white men and black men make peace treaty. Black men of Marwa tribe get land from narrow, fast water to big mountain. Yes, I know of that treaty. Tribe divide land. Kara's father get from North Edge Kral to sign of three stones. Now belong Kara. A fine legacy, a strip of alkaline soil that will grow neither plantains nor kaffir corn and a huge pile of worthless black rocks. And this property is to keep her from marrying the man she loves? Kara, property owner, important woman. Price is Sita, Nagambi, six head cattle. Law not change, even for Tarzan. (laughs) 
Son doesn't come, Kara. Then we can marry Anduta? Big Bona fix everything. He go see Kara's Majamba. Tell me, meet him here. Anduta? Yes? You know it not Kara put price of six cattle? Anduta, no. Kara would marry Anduta without any wedding price. Hello, Anduta. Kara? Jumbo. Doesn't bring good news? Oh, I'm afraid not. I guess you'll just have to work for another few years until you can pay the six head of cattle that is demanded. Oh, Anduta. Not oh. cry, Kara. Anduta, work hard. In few years, No, he... I can't let a thing like this happen. Anduta, go back to the village and get what things you require for a trip. You and I will travel. We will work and we will bring back the price of happiness. <laughs> That night, Tarzan and the young Anduta left the Mawa country. Together, they would earn enough so that Anduta could buy his bride according to the customs of the tribe and the stipulations of its chief. But Tarzan and his black brother had traveled but a few days' march to the north when a mighty safari approached the Mawa country from the east, bringing with it a threat to Anduta's marriage and to the peace of Tarzan's jungle. How much farther, Zavet? You used my name. You told me that we weren't to... Uh, we are beyond the ears of civilization. We are not beyond the ears of Tarzan. And if there's one man he hates, it's Anton Zavet. I am not interested in your fears. Only in uranium. Mapika. Mapika. Yes. Yes, Buona. I had to call twice for you. Mapika was at head of safari. Excuses. You and this miserable Zavet. Headquarters shall hear of this. Mapika came soon as could. Ah. How far are we to the great black rocks you marked on the map? Black rocks just ahead. Have the caravan stop them. We will make camp here. As you say, Buona. Boss, master order us make camp. Unloading. Sabet, unload your testing equipment and set up your laboratory. You will get to work at once. As you say. Mapeka, order a few of the bearers to take picks and spades and secure the samples that Sabet needs. Well... Why do you stand there? Buona, master. Well? Be best make peace with Mawa tribe before start dig. Mawa have many brave warriors. We touch their land, they start war. I have given instructions for my police to guard those who do the digging. The first Mawa native who tries to interfere in any way is to be shot. <laughs> Of. We've struck it. Not so much excitement, Sabet. We must not forget our dignity, even in the jungle. We are fulfilling a sacred mission. Yes, yes. Well, what did you find? It is uraninite, the richest crystal form of pitch blend you can find. Uraninite crystal form? I don't know of such things. Tell me straight out. According to my calculations, the crystal should run close to 80% uranium oxide. So, and the amount of it? Limitless. We'll control the world. The men are building a fortress to protect our discovery, and we... Why don't I hear the picks and the shovels at work? I ordered the workers to stop. You ordered? The chief of the Marwas was attracted by the sound of digging. He came to investigate. Why was he not shot, as I ordered? Because I know the jungle and its people better than you do. Shoot the chief, and you'll have a thousand natives here by nightfall. Two thousand, maybe. I have a better plan. So? Go ahead. The chief claims this land belongs to a young girl of the tribe. Her name is Kara. All right, I see your point. So we'll give her a few strings of beads and buy the land. She is not allowed to sell it. When she marries, the land goes to her husband, and from him to their children. I suppose we wait and buy it from the children? <laughs> no. I think we will have no difficulty cooperating with the husband I have selected. She shall marry our faithful guide, Mapika. I will arrange the entire matter. <laughs> Well, I've pulled it off. In another few minutes, Kara and Mapika will be married. It's about time. Two weeks now we've held up our work. It was wise. Now we will have no trouble. The girl doesn't look very happy about the ceremony. She will do as her uncle has instructed. He has been paid gold and 20 head of cattle. By Mapika, of course. Combo, or two. The marriage is ready? Marriage ready. I perform ceremony here. 
Advance Mapeka. Mapeka here, chief. Ready for marriage. Mapeka, when you leave tribe for white man's city, you live on the cloud. But now you come back, pay debts, have much money, pay many head cattle for bride. Mawas take you back as son. Santa, great chief. Advance Kara. No, no. Kara not marry Mapika. Kara promised one of Anduta. Anduta leave tribe. Maybe not come back. Mapika pay marriage price. Kara must take him for Mummy. No, no, not take Mapika as husband. Anduta comes. Jungle drums tail. Anduta approach with Tarzan. With Tarzan? Tarzan stop wedding. He not let Kara marry man she not love. Did you get that, Kara son? Are your men ready? They all here. Then have them watch in all directions. If you want to get back to civilization with the uranium, you'd better have your men shoot as soon as Tarzan comes out of those woods. <laughs> In just a moment, we shall learn the fate of Tarzan as he enters the village. Tarzan and Anduta approach the village of the Mawa people slowly, for their pace was set by six head of cattle, which they prodded impatiently along the tangled path. Suddenly, they stopped. Their ears informed them that some manner of ceremony was in progress, and their sensitive noses proclaimed that the Tarmangani were near. You stay here and protect the cattle, Anduta. I shall find out the meaning of the ceremony and the presence of the white men. Careful, Tarzan. Sometimes white men much dangerous. Well, go ahead with the ceremony. It would be better to get it over with before Tarzan arrives. Think better. We wait now. Yes, please wait. Let Tarzan decide what right. It law of Mawa. I have paid marriage price. Kara is mine. Begin ceremony. Mm, you speak true, Mapika. Kara, the wedding price paid. You must take Mapeka as Mumi. We begin wedding. It is the cry of Tarzan. Tarzan, save Kara. She not want to marry. Quiet, woman. You, you hit woman you want as bride. Over there, in the tree by the gate to the village. That is Tarzan? Yes, yes. All right, men. Ready? Aim. Fire. Tarzan, dead at last. I never thought I would live to hear him drop from a tree. I have to hand it to your police, Karazab. Make sure he is dead, men. Go and bring him back. We'll bring him back, all right. What time will he drop? It was like hitting a clay pigeon. Ooh. An arrow. An arrow right through the heart of one of your men. Tarzan is not dead. It was a trick. One of the oldest tricks of the jungle, Mr. Zavet. It was only a heavy limb of a tree you heard fall. He's on the other side of the village now. Shoot again. It will do you no good. I have learned to move quickly, and I am forced to protect my life with my arrows. An arrow shall answer every bullet of a white man. Go ahead, Tarzan. Give the order before he kills us all. I do not expect my men to fire up shadows and trees. This whole idea of the marriage in order to secure the property was ridiculous. Men, we will withdraw to our camp. You are letting Tarzan scare us away? We will guard the camp and the mine. We will make a virtual fortress in the jungle. If we are to fight this Tarzan, it will not be on his terms, but ours. Mapika, or I shall draw this noose tighter about your throat. Mapika, be quiet. Tarzan not kill. I kill only in self-defense, but for you to cry out, my life would be in danger. What are the white men searching for among those great black rocks? Search for a thing they call uranium. Uranium? So that's the reason they bring their secret police. Make big bombs from uranium. Soon rule world. I shudder to think of a world ruled by Zavet and his kind. I promise you they will not take their death-making materials from here. But rocks belong Mapika. Has paid wedding price to uncle of Kara. So this is the result of Kara's legacy. 
Mapika, you are a traitor to your people, but still I shall let you go. Santa Buana. I shall let you go so that you can return to those black rocks and the low animals that crawl there. Tell Zavet and the others that I shall give them until nightfall to leave. Your marriage price will be returned to you, Mapika, and you may leave with them. And if you are not gone by the time Goro the moon rises in the heaven, the entire jungle will fall upon you and the others. Goro comes and white men not leave Tarzan. I know, Anduta. And their presence here threatens not only the people of Marwa, but those of the entire civilized world. What we do? It would be foolish of me to attempt to battle them single-handed. Marwa warriors help Tarzan. Even the men of Marwa would be too small a force against them. I shall speak to the chief and explain things. The voice of the jungle drums must speak, and thousands of warriors from other tribes must join us in our siege on the fortress of the Black Rocks. <laughs> dawn had broken, the warriors of a dozen savage tribes had joined the Marwas in their battle against the men who would control the world. Guns sounded and natives died. Arrows and spears and long kisus were hurled at the barricade that had been built about the Black Rocks. Many of the secret police were impaled on the crude weapons of the savages, but fear made them renew their defense, and Tarzan and his men fell back. They're, they're gone? Ah, they have been drawn to their village to care for their sick and bury their dead. But they will be back. We have to escape. We are not leaving the uranium. We will battle to the last man. There is nothing we can do. For every native that drops, there are two who come from a distant tribe. They're still pouring in. Numbers do not always decide battles. Remember the use of the A-bomb. But we haven't got an atomic bomb. You have your laboratory equipment and you have uranium. Now get to work. That is impossible. Who are you to give orders to one tons of it? I have no equipment for the manufacture of an atomic bomb. You will do something at once, or you will be liquidated now. Well, perhaps I can make some sort of a crude bomb, but I cannot tell what it will do to them or to us. Enough talk. Make a bomb. We do not have to level a great city. All we have to do is to destroy a small native village and its people. <laughs> Night fell again, and in the village of the Marwas, the native warriors, led by Tarzan, prepared for a fresh assault on the fortress of the Black Rocks. But inside the fortress, all was quiet. The secret police awaiting orders, and Karasov was waiting for the bomb he had commanded Zavet to make. Zavet was still inside his makeshift laboratory, and Mapika was at his side. Finish now, Buona? Yes, this little bomb should erase all of Mr. Karazov's problems. You take to him? Uh, no. I think I shall let you have the honor, Mapika. After all, this bomb is meant to protect the property that is rightfully yours. I take bomb to Buona. How it work? Just before it is thrown, this lever here should be pushed all the way down. Do you understand? Nadio, is atomic bomb? Not quite. But it will produce some radiation when it explodes. I think it will do the job for which I have designed it. Here, carry it carefully. <laughs> Where you go? Oh, I'll be around. <laughs> I'll be around. If our men make so much noise, the Tamanganis will be warned of our coming. Almost to Black Rocks now. Tamangani is not shoot thunder sticks. They're probably waiting until we get to the edge of the clearing. Slowly, men. At that now, Tarzan. Wait. What? Mapika and their big buana alone at the entrance to their boma. And the soldiers all behind them. What can that mean? And Duta not have eyes like Tarzan. What they do? That Tamangani has something in his hand. He's seen us. He's moving some sort of a lever on the... <laughs> Men all dead? Look, there's the body of Mapika, all charred and disfigured. Like one visited by demons. And there's their leader's body. And their Ascari, their policemen. But 
No trace of Zabit. Look, Tarzan. Other white man climbing mountain. Far off. Ah, Zabit. We go after him? No, no. He stands little chance in the jungle alone. And we have much to do here, Anduta. Remember, there's a wedding ceremony that we must prepare for. Ah! We shall return with a word about our next story of Tarzan in just a moment. Africa is more than a collection of exotic cities and jungles and wild animals. It is a state of mind, and sometimes the mind takes strange forms when it is twisted by the crime of the equatorial cities, forged by the heat and the dangers of Africa's teeming jungles. Tarzan is a prey of one of the strangest minds of all in our next story, Jungle Orchids. Tarzan, a transcribed creation of the famous Edgar Rice Burroughs, is produced by Walter White, Jr., prepared for radio by Bud Lesser, with original music by Albert Glasser. This is a Commodore production. Commodore production.